Hello folks, uh, it's great to be with you again. I've spent the last uh, short while writing a few devotions that have appeared on our website and on our Facebook. Now I'm called upon to face the cameras again. It was Martin Luther who once commented, the Bible is alive, it speaks to me. It has feet, it runs after me. It has hands, it lays hold on me. So let me take you back to some of the Bible stories around the time when Jesus was raised from the dead. Now in the Gospel of John, we read the story of Mary Magdalene coming to the grave. Uh, early in the morning, Mary and Jesus had a very special relationship. And she discovers that the body of Jesus is not there, not realizing what had happened. Uh, she becomes aware of somebody standing behind her. She doesn't know that it's Jesus but she simply addresses this person, I guess, still facing in front of her and saying, Sir, uh, if you have taken the body of Jesus, please tell me where you have put him. And then the one remark, the one name of Jesus, Mary, Mary. And Mary recognizes that voice, the unmistakable voice of Jesus. And she turns and says, Rabboni which means teacher. And the instinctive thing that she wanted to do was to lay hold of Jesus, hold him, hug him. And Jesus says, no, no, hang on a man. I've not yet ascended to my father. Um, but it's a precious moment because the question that Jesus, Mary thought he was the gardener to begin with, is who are you looking for? Now in John's gospel, that's a very important question more than just the question that Mary asked. It's the, or rather the question that Jesus asked. It was the question to all of humanity, to you and to me. Who are we looking for? And the Easter is about the one who is the way, the truth, and the life. The one who promises to be with us. The one who comes to give us life life in all its fullness. Who are you looking for? And I want to say to you today that there is no better person that you could ever look for than the Lord Jesus Christ. But remember that it is Jesus who comes to Mary in an unexpected way and identifies himself. Keep a lookout for Christ in unexpected ways today because this day could be full of surprises if your eyes are open and you're seeking with all your heart. Jesus comes to us in many, many different ways and his voice is, I love you. His voice is, follow me. God be with you. We'll chat again soon. Cheers.